What is up guys, Ridden Rider back again with another epic adventure. Today guys, I've got something, well, different for you. This is an abandoned property. I believe there's an abandoned house back there. There's multiple abandoned vehicles, a big trailer, lots of cars going by, you guys can hear this. But anyways guys, let's check it out. Alright guys, so I have been here with Zay before several years ago, however when we came it was the uh, summer, so mosquitoes and black flies were just eating me alive. But look at this, oh you got a sweet cowboy boot there, but this essentially is like a car graveyard slash like cottage place, but it's so weird because it's just like everything's kind of sitting here, left behind, and like look at this, here's the car. 313,000 kilometers on the that odometer. She's all sagging a bit inside and just been sitting here for years. Several old cars on the property. Pretty sweet cars too, I must say. Like, look at this beaut. And there's an old one over to the left. We'll get over there, but look at this. I love the pine needles that are just building up on everything. Oh, Mustang, eh? Guys, you know what year that Mustang is? Tell me in the comments down below. But here's what the real awesomeness is. I love this car right here. Like, look at this. What kind of car is this, guys? Please tell me, because I've told you before, I'm not a car guy, but I, in terms of knowing what they are, but I friggin' appreciate the old cars. Like, look at this. What a beaut. Looks like that 530, 53,462, that's probably miles. Now I see something over here. Maybe there's just something on the hood, like an emblem that'll give it away. I, I, I don't know, maybe a Dodge? No, it is a Pontiac. That looks so sick, actually. Look at that. With the piles of the pine needles, everything. And what's this? Oh, we got a... Gr this is a gremlin. I'm almost 100% sure this is a gremlin. We'll check that out in a second. Let's go check out inside this Pontiac here. Oh, Silver Streak. So it's a Pontiac Silver Streak. Kind of random. You got a, a oven hood sitting right there. Now this gremlin, let's see, 85, there's the last sticker on that. Heck, here we are in Ontario, they've added that sticker program as of this year, but look at this. It's gonna give you guys a nice little pen. Sick gremlin, then the Pontiac Silver Streak. I'm wondering what year that Silver Streak is. It looks like, I'd say 1940s, but I could be wrong. And look at this. So here we got a storage container, like a transport trailer, just full of random junk. Not really gonna go up in there cause I can just see it's all construction material. And I have checked it out before and everything's kind of tossed, but look, you got these old uh, barrels kind of all around, super overgrown and you wouldn't even know it. But here we've got a big abandoned house. It kind of looks like it's, you know, like a utilities building because of that type of brick on there. But I assure you, it is not. There's a fence here and overlooks a nice big water area. Wow. Now, here we go. Not too sure about the uh, safeness of it. It has been a couple years. I don't even know if we were able to get inside last time. I'm just gonna have a quick peek around the side here. I just want to make sure that if I'm walking on anything, like oh, actually, it's pretty frigged. I just want to check with the back to make sure we're not caving in. I'm gonna fall down the hill and die. 
Oh, look at this little structure that's been built on this framing. Oh, she's pretty decayed back here. Wow. Oh, shit, I just dropped my pit vipers. Can't lose the pitties. Look at, see, this would be a nice wetland. I bet you could see like deer and moose out here on a nice like foggy morning. Let's have a little look inside. See if we can get in there. Oh, oh deer stubbies. Oh, those are regular size. Oh, you got a piano here, a nice hutch. This is like some crazy, oh, the drill press. Place is pretty tossed. A desk. Really need to get a flashlight in here. I'm gonna get my flashlight. Okay, guys, we're back inside. I've got my flashlight, because I wasn't too sure what I could see on the floors. I don't really trust them, but now that I got my glasses, at least like, or sorry, glasses. I just seen a pair of glasses on the ground. I meant flashlight. Oh, she's a bit flooded. Some tools. Just various bits. Looks like this is me and never even actually been finished. Or it was finished and just never really done up nicely. A heater down there. Now, obviously, guys, there is no basement because this is built on a cliff. Let's see what this is. Seems pretty structurally sound, hopefully. I don't like it, but... <laughs> so it definitely was finished at one point. Got all these drugs here, looks like vitamins. There's kids' toys everywhere. Oh, there's a stove up here. Must have been a kid's bedroom, I'm judging by the uh, decoration and whatnot. Electrical, electrical cold residential wiring. Oh, got an old stubby here. Let's just see what it is. Oh, it doesn't say. Something bitter? Hot, not. Not litter. Oh, something. Do not litter. Whoops, never mind. Ow. A little peek out here. You can see down below all decayed. Very, very unsafe. So I don't really want to spend too much time up here. Look at you got all these little kitty toys. Sad, you know? You're really keeping kids' treasure toys and they're just left here to rot. A master bedroom, maybe? Or just the bathroom? Weird. There's like some weird stick there with like a growth on it. Huh. Actually, it seems like there's only one bedroom because here's a toilet back here, which is really strange. Huh. All right, guys, so I'm at the back of the property now where it overlooks, it's kind of built on this cliff. And look at it, you can see it's kind of just like all bits and pieces of random stuff put together to make this whole place perched on this. This cliff here, right by the water side. Well, it's not really water, but it's definitely marshland. I guarantee you, it can get pretty wet down here. And it looks like there's tracks running along there. So there's probably a lot of deer, moose, and whatnot. This would be a great hunting site, or a hunting camp, which it probably was. Because where we are, there's a lot of hunting going on in the winter, plus ATV, snowmobiling, all the good stuff, all the good fun. Now, it also looks like they were doing a bit of planting. Maybe they were growing weed out here or planned on it. And look at this, the hydrometer is still connected. But weird spot, very interesting. Lots of stuff left behind but all kind of just tossed and anything of values obviously been removed but it is a cool little spot i have no idea about this place guys we just found it randomly a couple years ago and we're on our way back from a trip we thought we stopped figure we stopped 
So guys, we were noticing this. Looks like it's been, it rammed the gate. It wasn't like that before. And then I noticed on the ground, there's kind of like little bits of burnout marks. So what we think happened here is someone hooked onto this right here, because you can see it's been bent down here, bent here. Someone hooked onto this, pulled this forward, tried to ram the gate, which has got that yin and yang symbol, which is actually kind of cool. But you can see the distance that it's actually come because we noticed this back here that it had moved. So this is where the tires had originally sat, right here and here, and someone dragged it probably a good five, six feet. Easily, but then it hit the gates and here she sits. Here's a little better view of where it was torn apart, but yeah, pretty awesome stuff. All right, guys, well, that's the end of this epic adventure. Weird abandoned hunting camp with all these old, old classic cars and newer cars and whatnot. Plus this car that's rammed the gate at the yin, yin and yang symbol gate. But anyways, guys, tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Smash the like button. Remember, guys, always come back because Rinder Miner always has that epic shit. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.